What's going on everybody? Steve here with Raking Profit over at RakingProfit.com and we got my main man, Roma the Roamer. Welcome to the free five day book selling workshop. We are super excited about this training because we're gonna walk you through the process step by step of how to sell physical books just like this on Amazon FBA. So Avery, you've been on Amazon for how many years now? It's been about five years now, man. And what are your sales over the last year selling books and all different types of random items on Amazon? Actually, it was a rough year. I'm at a million in sales, but I probably sold three, three and a half million in used books over the last five years. Nice, nice. So over the last year, I've done uh, about $480,000 selling books, board games, DVDs, videos. But you might be thinking, Steve, Avery, why are we focused only on books because we believe the best way to start selling on amazon is selling books so during this free five-day book selling workshop day number one which is today we're really going to just build your foundation we're going to talk about why you should sell physical books okay we're going to talk about do you need an llc do you need a business how much money does it start and we're going to give you a bunch of really great tips to get started mm -hmm. day number two we're going to talk all about all the tools right? How do you scan books? How do you print labels? How do you ship boxes? How do you go through the whole process? Like, what do you need for tools, right? What are the tools of the trade? Day number three, we're going to talk all about scanning. We're going to talk about analyzing books. We're going to talk about, you know, how do you, how do you see a barcode just like this on a book, right? You know mm -hmm. all about these barcodes, yep. baby. And how do we know how much money it's worth? And what if it doesn't have a barcode? What do you do then? We'll go over that too. Yeah. We're also gonna hit up a thrift store. We're gonna hit up some libraries. We're gonna see where, you know, where this free workshop takes us, but we're gonna literally teach you how to find physical, right? Physical books just like this and how to flip them for some crazy profits. Now, you know all about my mom, right? Mama Profit, right? Yep. She is she's like- a hustler. She's the hustle. She's like a book selling legend, right, in the community. I taught my mom how to sell books just like this about nine years ago. She makes around three to 5,000 a month. And you know what? We gotta talk about your mom too. She's been flipping books, yeah, right? Yeah, you can talk about my mom, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but your mom's been selling books for how long now? She's been doing it for a little over a year. And so she has zero computer skills at all. So if my mom even gets a fraction of results, it, I mean, anybody can do this. No offense, mom. Yeah, but, yeah, exactly. You know? So you don't need any crazy <laughs> tech skills. You don't need tons of money. You don't need... Especially with used books. Yeah. Like if you want to scale <laughs> up in the Amazon game, there's other categories you can do that do take a little bit more like nuance and stuff. But used books are the best. You can throw them. Uh, you're, you're only paying a dollar or two to flip them for 20 plus. Like there's a lot of benefits to used books. Exactly. So after after we go through and you know we talk about how to get started we talk about all the tools of the trade scanning analyzing right we talk about how to source items how to find books how to get books for free and i'm not going to spoil it right now but avery has a crazy little trick up oh, his sleeve of, right i'll tell you right now man these sleeves it... ain't long but there's some <laughs> tricks up in there in day five this is probably like the the most exciting part for both of us is we're literally going to take you into my computer which isn't on right now we're going to teach you literally how to list books mm -hmm. super fast, how to list books fast, how to print out the labels. You know, I got a bunch of Amazon shipments behind me right now that are getting ready to go out. How to, how to label everything, how to ship it to UPS and how to just do this How to pack a box properly. A lot of people don't pack yeah. boxes properly. We're gonna make sure you pack the box so your items don't get lost. All little, yeah. little tiny tips and tricks that I wish I would have known from day one. So we're pumped up, we're grateful for all of you. We're going to get started right now. We're gonna just break into the foundation. And it's really important to get your mind right, to get some of your you know, common you know, questions and you know, whatnot answered so we can get started. So with that being said, let's rock and roll and let's get into this free five day workshop. Let's do it, baby. All right, we are back, back with the five day book selling workshop. And so we're in day one right now. So what we want to do is we want to really just set the foundation. We want to share realistic expectations. We want to answer some common questions that we get all the time. I mean, we've helped hundreds of thousands of people to start selling books, you know, on Amazon. I've taught my mom, you've taught your mom. We've yep. helped hundreds and thousands of students to be able to do this. So let's get right into, you know, what are the top reasons why you know, we love selling books. There's a mm. lot of reasons why. And we're not here to say books are like the ultimate best item, like you should only sell books. We're not here to say that at all. Um, but books are probably one of the best ways to start. So maybe you could share like, what's what's the number one reason why you feel people should start with two, books? Two reasons, I think, starting out. 
Uh, number one, you just need a smartphone. So we're actually gonna use our smartphone to look up the value of the books on Amazon. So starting now, I mean, if you're next level like Steve, you actually found that, I'm, I'm yeah, impressed. Yeah, I did, I found it. <laughs> um, that allows you to scan faster, but starting now, all you need is a phone and you can actually use your phone to scan barcodes. We'll talk a lot more about this later. And my second favorite reason is it's high return on investment. Mm. So this means, you know, if you start out with just a couple hundred bucks, you can turn that couple hundred dollars potentially into a thousand dollars plus if you choose your books correctly. So high return on investment makes it inherently a low risk business and you already have a smartphone. You're probably watching this on a smartphone. Even if you're not super technologically advanced, your smartphone will do the thinking for you yeah. and tell you what books are good. And even if you purchase bad books, the ROI is so high across the board that you're going to make a profit and that just doesn't exist with other Amazon businesses. Yeah, and it's interesting, like everybody's trying to chase like the hottest new product. Like, oh, if I want to make money on Amazon, I'm going to be flipping like, uh, you know, Sony freaking whatever, like iPhone, Ordering Samsung, products from China, like, doing crazy stuff. Alibaba.com. Like I'm telling you right now, most of the things that you see on like Facebook ads and whatnot, like I'm not saying they don't work, but these things are like, they're just not realistic for the average mm -hmm. person. It either takes like a year to make your first dollar, yeah. Um, or it's just like, you need to have like all this money or business skills. Like the thing I love about books is most people think they're junk. Like, it's not like you, you're not going to be like, you know, uh, you know, at your coffee shop and people are like, oh, you should be selling books on Amazon because no one really knows about this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to get rich selling books on Amazon. Oh, you'll get rich selling books on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> but they're unsuspected. Like you can literally go to a thrift store, buy these for a buck, two bucks, three dollars, and sell them for 40, 50, 60, 70 book, uh, bucks. Now, 90% of the books aren't gonna be profitable. Maybe you yeah. can set that realistic expectation. Yeah, maybe it's 99%, but who cares? If you scan a thousand books and only 1% are good, then you can get 10 profitable books. And if those books net you $4 each, that's $40 profit in one hour. Maybe that's a bad hour. Maybe the next hour you get 10% profitable books. Okay, now you got a hundred books to work with. A lot of people don't wanna put the work in. If you put the work in in this business, you're gonna get massive results. There's nobody out there scanning 10 hours a day. And I yeah. guarantee you, in every medium to large size city, if you actually put the work in, put the time in, you can make easily, and I'm not joking, 100K plus profit a year, but there's very few people that want to do that. Maybe you don't want to do that and that's okay. Maybe you just wanna make a few thousand dollars extra profit, that's fine. But just know if you put the work in, if you get those scans up on your phone, there's a little scan tracker that we have on the app we recommend. If you make sure that you're scanning a couple hundred books a day, you are going to find profitable books and we'll teach you exactly what to do with them once you find them. But it comes down to putting the work in first. Yeah, exactly. And books are really, you know, we'll talk about shipping as well. It's actually really, really cheap to ship books. I mean, honestly, shipping anything on Amazon is cheap because yeah. Amazon has partnered up with UPS. So you get discounted carrier rates. And why don't you tell them, Avery, how much does it cost to ship out maybe a box of books that are like 40 pounds? Because you'd think like it would be like 20, 30, 40 bucks, right? Yeah, yeah. Usually it comes out anywhere from nine to $15, which comes out to about 20 to 40 cents per pound, which is extremely cheap. You are not going to get those rates at, at the post office. At the post office, you'll be paying dollar to $3 per pound. So it, it is really economical. We'll also teach you guys how to ship books directly to the customer. And this comes out to about $4 per book, which is still pretty good rate. You know, if you sell a book for 15 bucks, you'll get a $7 Amazon payout and then pay $4 for shipping. It depends on what model you want to pursue, but just know if you're doing FBA, which is really what we recommend, you're yeah. only paying like 20 to 40 cents per book. Yeah, and it's good to talk about the differences of the ways that you could sell books or really sell any product on Amazon. So there's two different ways you can sell. One is FBA. This stands for fulfillment by Amazon. So just like it sounds, it's fulfilled by Amazon. So think of it this way, and we'll walk you through this step by step. What we're gonna do is we're gonna find the good books, we're gonna price them, we're gonna slap a label on them, we're gonna put them all in a box. So maybe you get 40 books, you put them all in a box, you ship them to Amazon. You have to make sure it's less than 50 pounds, that yep. box. And yep. once it gets to Amazon, they're gonna store it at their warehouses. They have yep. warehouses all over the place. And when it sells, they pick it, pack it, ship it, and you get paid. So that's yep. method number one. And then there's Merchant Fulfilled. You wanna tell them about that? Yeah, so Merchant Fulfilled is probably the way you thought that you were gonna sell books, but we actually don't recommend this starting mm -hmm. out. You take the book, you list it, you put it on your shelf at home, and then the customer purchases the book from you, and you take it, put it in a poly bag, and ship it directly to the customer. This is a great way to make money too, but the problem with it is if you go on vacation, forget to turn your Amazon account off, 
Now you have to find out how to get the books to the customer. Whereas if you do FBA, you still own the books 100%, but they're at Amazon. So if the customer buys it from you, Amazon does all the work. Yeah, and that's why FBA, like it's not 100% passive income, but it is semi-passive yeah. just because you're able to put all the upfront work in to, you know, and I'll show you guys later. I've got like six boxes that are going out. I mean, I've got like three or $4,000 of profit going out of books and DVDs and mm -hmm. board games and all different types of items. Again, why are we starting with books? Books are the easiest. They're cheap to purchase. Most people think they're junk. Um, you know, there's good profits, there's good ROIs. There's actually not a ton of restrictions when it comes to most yep. books, unlike yep. a lot of other products and whatnot. So um, let's talk a little bit about Avery. Let's tell folks about like, how much money do you need to get started, you know, I'm sure a lot of the folks who are watching this, they've never sold on Amazon. They're probably trying to figure out like, is this even legit? Is this a scam? Like, yeah, yeah. can you actually make money doing it? Is it yep. gonna be like one of these freaking Alibaba drop shipping videos yep. where they try to sell you on a $100,000 automation and then you get in yep. and you're like, what the heck did I yeah. get? Like, and, and our family does this. We've been doing, I've been doing this for almost a decade His now. family motivated my family to yeah. do it. I was like, <laughs> I don't know if my mom's capable of this or not. And then I saw yeah. your mom doing it. Your mom's older than mine and I'm like, all right, let's get my but, mom to do but this. But it's hard work. Like, let's just be realistic. Like, if you're here and you're thinking like, oh, I'm trying to make some freaking millions of dollars, like not having to do any, like you're going to have to bust your butt. It's hard work. Anything worthwhile is hard work. So I just want to say that. But like, how much money realistic, realistically, someone who's brand yeah. new, maybe they're working a job, maybe they only have a couple hundred dollars in their bank. Maybe they don't, yep. they just want to test it out. Like, is this something folks can do on a small budget? Yeah, I mean, like, theoretically, realistically, theoretically, you can start for free. Like if you're really bootstrapping it, you can get a bunch of books, ship them to Amazon. And Amazon sometimes has a program where they don't even charge you inbound shipping. My mom didn't get charged yeah. for a while. So that's something you can do. Um, I mean, you could literally start, not joking, for free. If you, if you pursue, we'll teach you guys how to get books for free. Um, every software we recommend has a free trial. You can print labels at the UPS store, at the FedEx store, at the library. I started this business not a sob story, living out of my car. My goal was to travel the world. You were homeless. I was homeless. <laughs> I was sleeping in Walmart parking lots, truck stops, and I was able to start this business off of like less than a thousand bucks, and that's including like food and everything. <laughs> so yeah. like it really doesn't even count. Um, if you want to start this business, like the complete way we recommend, you'll probably spend four to 500 bucks, yeah. you know, on all supplies, your first hundred, two hundred dollars in inventory boxes, 50 bucks for a scanner. Yeah. Little things like that. So if you really want to optimize and go all in $500, but if, yeah. if, if you're like, dude, I'm broke. All right. We'll teach you how to do that too. So, yeah. so not much. Yeah, absolutely. You could definitely start on a budget. And when my mom first started, I mean, she did everything on a budget. Like yeah. she had a free Amazon account and that's a good thing to talk about. There's, there's two different types of accounts you want to look at, either a free Amazon account, which is called an individual plan, yep. or a pro account. Now, in the past, I used to recommend the free account, but now Amazon, I don't know if they've changed a lot of rules, but I've, I've really been studying this a lot. And from my understanding, and, and share your feedback, Avery, yep. the free account, you're just not going to sell as many items. You're going to lose money over the long haul. Yep. You can't like uh, get ungated, I think, or connect to third-party apps and two stuff. Two main problems with the free account. In my opinion, number one, every item you sell, you have to pay $1. So that's one reason. Adds up. And the second reason is all the softwares we talk about, you're not gonna be able to use if you don't have a professional account. So these- and the buy box too, right? Eligibility. Yeah, I think, I think so too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you can't get buy box. So you're gonna sell your items slower. You're not gonna be able to find as many items because you won't be able to use the software we recommend. And then you'll pay extra per item. Yeah. So it really adds up. One, one good thing to talk about too, and hopefully you guys don't mind us kind of freestyling, like going over the most common questions. Cause I mean, we've helped literally thousands of people over the years to be able to start doing this. Our families do it, we do it, we run these businesses. I mean, he's got a million dollar business. You know, I'm about half of that right over the last year. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get to your level, <laughs> man. But uh, you know, used or new books? That's a question I get all the time. Can you sell books as new? Can you sell them as used? Can you sell it both? And yeah. Great you know. question. Generally, we're going to be selling used because we're going to thrift stores. For books. Yeah, yeah. We're going to libraries. And I mean, if you get your books from Barnes & Noble, that's a different story. If you buy them from Target. If you have an invoice. Yeah, if you have an invoice or receipt. Uh, generally, we want to stay used because it's safer. Uh, and if, if you're not sure if it's used or new, it's usually better to go used. Uh, there are people at scale who do sell books as new if it's in impeccable condition. 
We don't recommend that starting out because we don't want anyone coming to us saying, hey, you recommended this in the course and you're selling X library books is brand new. Yeah. You know, but um, just know like if the book is in new condition, you can sell it as new, but yeah. uh, play at your own risk there. So another question we get all the time is, you know, Steve Avery, can we start with, you know, just our our name? Like, you know, my name yeah. is Steve Rakin. Can I just sign up under Steve Rakin? Can you sign up as, you know, yeah, that's Roma a... the Roamer on uh, on your Amazon account? And and the truth is, uh, yes, you can. Now, this isn't legal advice if you're trying to protect your assets, if you don't want to, you know, if if someone trips over a box and, you know, they sue everybody and your name's included, like, obviously that's going to you know, um, you know, put you, put you at risk a little bit. So you can start from my understanding, from what I've learned, you can start with just your individual name. You don't have to go yeah. out. And You're a sole proprietor. Yeah. Like I, I'm not a CPA, but like I, I know people have sold 300,000 plus and they're a, a general theme with business people is they don't want to overspend money. So my friend Heidi actually was like doing 300 K plus yeah. and she's like, Oh, she's crazy. Yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to pay $500 a year in Massachusetts for an LLC. Yeah. The benefit of an LLC is let's say you do get sued or whatever, which is very, very low chance in, in the book business. You do separate yourself from that. So if I start an LLC and I get sued, then they cannot come after me personally. So that's why it's called a limited liability corporation. So just know yeah. like once you start making money, you could set that up down the road, but, but starting, starting out, focus on making a profit. Yeah. Like don't go negative, negative, negative. Like you're going to buy supplies, software, like don't add insult to injury by paying five hundred dollars for an yeah. LLC and then quitting. Prove to yourself first that you're making a profit, and then potentially protect yourself by setting up an LLC. Yeah, the big thing at this point now, hopefully, you know, folks are like, I want to start doing this. I want to start selling some books, but you're probably like, well, what tools do I use? What softwares? How do I scan? How do I analyze? How do I list? How do I? Ship? Don't worry, we're gonna, we got you covered in this workshop. But uh, one thing I wanted to share a, a free gift for everybody. Um, so we put together a guide, okay? It's free um, and it'll walk you step-by-step step signing up for your account, how to get your account set up, how to put in all the right answers. We walk you through it step-by-step. Step. So make sure below this video somewhere, we'll give you that guide. You can download it. It's a free PDF. And uh, at this point, I just want everybody right now to literally just commit and say, you know what? I'm gonna sign up for this account. I'm gonna get started. And this is day one, this is the foundation, okay? I'm telling you right now, you might be thinking like, why should I be doing this? I'm gonna tell you why you should be doing it because eventually what you're gonna be able to do is literally open up your phone every single day, go into your Amazon seller app, okay? Go to your homepage, you're gonna be able to see, oh wow, look at all these sales. And so you're gonna be able to log in and see you know, your sales right here over the last year. I've done 481,000, I've got a six figure income. I don't share this to impress you, but to impress upon you the fact that you could literally start doing this, send everything to Amazon and it sells every single day. Yep. You log in, you see all your sales. It gives you the freedom, right? You don't have to have a boss. You can literally work from home. Is it easy? No. Is it simple? Yes. Is it going to take hard work? Freaking heck yeah, it is. There's no business where you're going to make a ton of money and it's just going to come like there's a learning curve, but this is day one. This is the foundation. So commit yep. right now, sign up for your account. What else am I missing, man? What do folks this, gotta do? This is this is a gateway drug. You know, I've made <laughs> I've made twenty five we went there. <laughs> twenty five thousand profit over the last thirty days doing wholesale on Amazon. It took you years to get there, let's yeah. be real. Yeah. It's not an overnight it, thing. And you know, when I started selling books, I did eighty thousand my first year probably made like five dollars profit <laughs> like yeah, after all is said and done no i i made at least 15 like seven. 20, 000. <laughs> 20 bucks yeah <laughs> after all the mcdonald's cost me living in my car uh, i looked at the, my expenses the first year and I, like most of it was like food cost but eighty thousand my first year and then i think i did like three or four hundred thousand my second and then like a million a year after that so if you if you truly commit and you truly try this is going to open the door not only to selling books but also to selling other products potentially private label, just wholesale, reselling online as a whole, arbitrage, eBay to Amazon, arbitrage, like yeah. we could go on for days. So, yeah. so just prove to yourself you can make money flipping stuff on Amazon and uh, good things will happen. So guess what, man? We're getting ready to go to day two soon. And do you know what we're doing in day two, man? What are we doing I've got all two? my handy dandy little notes here to make sure we cover everything because we want to offer a lot of value to you guys. We're going to go through our top tools. We're gonna go through our top supplies. Uh, we're gonna share some of the softwares that we use. We'll, we'll be diving a lot deeper into that on day five because we're gonna walk you through literally how to list, how to price, how to condition, how to find the items, how to list them, how to print labels, how to ship them, all of that. 
But we're going through the tools of the trade, man. We're gonna share printers. We're gonna share, obviously, the barcode scanners. We're gonna yep. share the labels that we use, the different printers we use, uh, the different softwares we use, all different types of accessories. So, um, and, and we're gonna break it all down and give you guys a beautiful free PDF so you can go and, you know, check off one thing at a time. But uh, you think folks are ready to rock and roll, man? I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's, let's do it. All right, appreciate you guys. We'll see you um, for day number two. Day going two. over the tools of the trade. Much love. Peace out, guys.